afternoon fellow bikers and um, welcome back to another one of my products of the week I'm here at Motorbikes for All in Melbourne and I'm going to go through some of the products we are still currently open we'll find out a little bit more, more chappings and um, happens later on this evening um, but yeah as far as at the moment we're still trading so yeah by all means give us a call or pop in or, uh, the products of the week this week is um, I could have gone for a few different things. I usually go for a mix, but this one is um, a all year round glove, which many people will say doesn't exist, which they're not far wrong. Um, sports bike gloves, summertime, and then big thick winter gloves. Winter time is what most people do. Um, girls and guys that I've spoken to, that's what we all tend to do. And the only thing that's come close to it that I found that's had some really good views from MCN and from Ride and various different um, uh, people who have sort of uh, been looking into the different products and doing product testing guides. Uh, they've rated a couple of them, um, but there's three particular gloves that fall into that category. I'm just going to select one of them um, for now. So yeah, um, the one I've picked is the Street Touring, um, Risha Street Touring, which is made uh, in cooperation with Gore-Tex. Um, there's a reason why Gore-Tex sells so well, and there's also a reason why Gore-Tex gives you a guarantee of dryness. Um, not many people will offer that. They spend a lot of money and a lot of time testing the moisture and breathability and durability dryness of their products and that's in the jackets the trousers and the gloves anyway i ain't gonna root and rave about one particular manufacturer's label right now um but yeah as far as the gloves uh, these are the gloves themselves and you've got more of a sporty looking glove uh with the old-fashioned sort of leather feel but knowing that that liner inside is a gore-tex liner so um, it's also made with a couple of different types of, of leather. Um, basically it's goat skin as well as cowhide. So that's gonna give you softer areas where it needs to be softer um, and harder areas where it needs to be harder. Uh, obviously on the sort of a wrist area as well, your palm area, which I find incredibly important and manufacturers don't seem to pay as much attention to that is you're going to be sliding on your palms. Everybody, when they crash, they slide on their palms. We always keep putting armor on the outside of the knuckles. That's where you end up sliding. I've crashed like a few times now. I'm not enjoying it. I'm not getting used to it. But every single time, I slid on my palms. Anyway. Um, yeah, so as far as the different um, aspects of the glove. So you've got a double Velcro um, fastening system. Uh, this one is hidden underneath the flap. Like they seem to be doing a lot more now that's your wrist one and then uh, the one just at the back here is again slightly more so it's gonna just stop any water or air or whatever getting in um, ideally you get it tight enough you can tuck it inside the jacket and then the jacket will go over uh, some people I know like to put it on the outside never quite understood that water's just gonna run down into your glove uh, but still um, the main point of cold hands at winter time um, is the fact it's getting wet uh, the wind's getting in there and they're getting cold um, I tried these and I really was surprised at how good they were there's a couple of them they do like three variants of them there's like a lighter one a medium one and a thicker one um, I personally got on with this one best because it, I really like the controls I like to be able to feel the controls and feel everything that the bike's doing at all times everybody's different um, but yeah so um, the street touring uh, Risha glove um, they're not gonna be crazy cheap but they're not gonna be silly expensive either these ones yeah these ones are around about 120 um, which is quite a lot in a glove especially when people are spending that on like heated gloves um, however I'm finding that a lot of heated gloves are actually letting people down then batteries aren't charging they're not warming enough of the glove itself uh, I spoke to Jerry about this the other day and he's uh, He's bought some of the RST Paragon 2 heated gloves and especially they're quite good. So um, I will be reviewing those when they come in in a couple weeks time. As far as other things, so yeah, the Gore-Tex lining inside this, it's breathable, obviously. Um, 
You've also got gore grip technology as far as giving you that good feel on the fingertips when you have actually trying to get hold of things and grab things, etc. Uh, 3M reflective technology basically just has reflective parts on it, not much of it by the looks of it. Um, hard knuckle protection, um, designed as an all year round sort of glove, so wet season, dry season, so a glove you can wear all year round. Everybody's different, you may agree, you may disagree with that term, but yeah, as far as that. Uh, the other thing to mention that I haven't uh, talked about, sometimes people well, I don't know if anybody really does talk about it, then nobody cares, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> basically, they say to look after the gloves, you put them on in a half dry state, so a little bit damp, you put them on and that's to mold it uh, back into the original shape, which I thought was a bit strange. Um, so uh, it says, do not place your damp gloves on other garments because the dyed leather might stain those things. Um, Try not to get it anywhere near anything hard or sharp like objects and you can use a pre-wash treatment uh, which is like a cleaner that helps the waterproofing of it and you can also get the re-waterproofing solutions which I think loads of people do, uh, bike it do one, everyone does one uh, but yeah you can re-waterproof them um, in the event you start to lose some of the waterproofing usually after about 12 months I find. Um, but yeah there you go that was my little vid. I know I haven't done one for a while because of Christmas, but uh, happy Christmas and a happy new year to you all. And I hope that 2021 is going to be great and there's going to be lots of bikes involved. And I hope to see you guys here at some point. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.